to my channel this is virtuous budget so in today's video i'm going to be doing my cash stuff is for september so if you like all things budgeting cash envelope stuffing adulting please subscribe to my channel all right guys so today we're going to be stuffing a total of 320 dollars. so let's go ahead and get started first we're going to get started with my coins we're going to see how much coins i have left from the past two weeks So that is all for my coins. I am trying to get better with using my cash for my cash envelope. Sometimes I just swipe my card because it's easier. It also just depends on how I feel. But I am trying to get better using my cash so I can get like coins back. But this is looking pretty good so far for this year. So now let's go ahead and get started with my cash envelopes. All right, so here's my cash wallet. We're gonna see how much money I have left. And guys, I've had like such a hard time not spending money. I don't know guys like usually i'm okay with it i'm doing pretty good but this time around i've been spending so let's see what we have left so groceries we have ten dollars so ten is left in groceries we'll put that to the side for later next we have miscellaneous and we do have some money left in here and also I have a receipt, I need to scan and fetch. I will put my fetch code at the top of the screen. And when you use my code, you will get points and I will get points as well for any gift cards to different stores you like. So miscellaneous, I have $9 left in miscellaneous. So nine in miscellaneous, nothing in eating out, which this literally is where I spent majority of my money these past two weeks. I don't know what it's been, but I've been like so hungry for like fast food and restaurants. Nothing left in eating out, nothing left in beauty. And then for my own personal spending envelope, I have $6 left. So let's go ahead and count all of this up and see how much I have total for my rollover. So total for a rollover, I have 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. So $25 is left in rollover. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my rollover sinking fund because I spent a lot of it these past two weeks. And I want to just stuff it back again, and then I will stuff my savings challenge. I think what I'm going to do is try to have, like, a goal of at least maybe $125 or $150 in my rollover envelope. Then I can stop stuffing it and just focus on my savings challenge. Because, like I said, I am a spender, so it's nice to just have that, you know, buffer for when I need it. So, this will go to the side, and I will stuff this later on in my sinking funds. All right, so first we have groceries, and today groceries will be getting $120. So 120 is in groceries and household for the next two weeks. After that, we have miscellaneous and miscellaneous will be getting $15. So 15 in miscellaneous for the next two weeks. After that, we have eating out. Eating out will be getting $30. So 30 for eating out. Next we have beauty. Beauty will be getting 25. So 25 in beauty. And then for my personal spending, I'm gonna give myself 30. So 30 for spending for the next two weeks. And we'll see how that goes with that. So now all my cash envelopes are stuffed. Also, I did buy some new cash envelopes. I'm so excited. I'm ready to get them. Um, yeah, I can't wait till they come in. I think they're gonna come like the end of this month or maybe around next month. But yeah, I got some new cash envelopes. I actually want to buy a new binder. So we will see. I'm kind of telling myself since like I'm making like such a low income now, don't just rush and buy something. Wait two weeks, see if I still want it, and then get it. So that's kind of like my little thing I'm trying to do now. Like, wait two weeks, see if I still want it, and then buy it. So, next week, if I want this binder, I will get this new binder, and we'll see from there. So, let's go ahead, and now we're going to stuff my sinking funds. So, it's actually really exciting with my sinking funds because I'm going to stuff $100, and I have not stuffed that much in, like, a good minute. So, I'm hoping to you know enjoy this paycheck because you know my income not like what it used to be so let's go ahead and stuff this binder also i did want to say my 
I want to do like a new budget with me. I have not done a, done a budget with me video in like one year, but literally all my income goes to my bills. Majority of my income goes to my bills now. So that's why I'm stuffing like so less. So I just want to do like a, a thorough detailed budget with me. Leave down in the comments if you guys want an updated budget with me video so y'all can just kind of see how I'm making my money work and things like that. And I think if I do it on camera, it'll help me like stay disciplined with my budget. So we'll see with that. But first, we're going to go ahead and get started with my sinking funds. So first, we have spending, and today's spending will be getting, let's see, $30. So now spending has $50, $100, $120, and $130. So $130 in spending. So $130 in spending. And if you can't tell, my envelopes are lesser. I did a bill exchange. So if you have not watched the video, go ahead and check out my bill exchange video that I recorded last time. Next, we have health. And today, health will be getting $15. So now health has 20, 30, 35, 40, and 41. So 41 is in health. Next, we have seasonal activities, and I did switch this over to the fall category. So today, seasonal activities will be getting $4. So now seasonal activities has 50, 100, 120, 121, 122, 123, 124, and 125. So 125 is in seasonal activities. So this is nice. I actually really want to go to this new gym in my neighborhood that they made like not too far. So I want to try it out and I can hopefully spend some of this for like a day pass. So we'll see about that. Next we have adventure and today adventure will be getting $8. So now adventure has 50, 70, 90, 95 96 97 98 so 98 is an adventure i am so close to 100 in here which is good next we have gifts and today gifts will be getting 15 dollars so now gifts has 20 30 40 and 45 so 45 is in gifts So that is a good amount. Next birthday I have is in about two weeks and that'll be my brother's birthday. So his is in October. So I'll do want to save up for him. Next we have clothing and today clothing will be getting $5. So now clothing has $65. Talking about clothing, leave down in the comments if where you stay at is getting kind of a little cooler, a little chillier. With me, it's raining, so it's kind of like getting a little cool. It's not as hot as how it usually is outside. So you can tell like the seasons are changing, so that's good. Next we have miscellaneous, and miscellaneous will be getting $8. Now miscellaneous has 50, 70, 80, 85, 90. 91, 92, 93, and 94. So 94 is in miscellaneous. Also, if you guys don't know, this is kind of like my electronic fund. Like if my charger breaks, if I need headphones, home stuff, this is kind of like that envelope. But I've been thinking something that I want that's like electronic technology wise, I want a GPS like for my car. So I've been looking around. I don't really know a lot about, you know, good reviews on which ones is good or not. But leave down in the comments, if you have a GPS, let me know what the name of it is. You know, is it reliable? Is it good for you? But I do want to save it for a GPS, so I don't know if I got to save like 200. I'm not really sure the amount that I want to save, but I'm going to just keep saving up because I do want a GPS because I think it'll help me a lot. So to using my phone for directions, I can use a GPS. So that'll be, you know, good for me. So that's for miscellaneous. Next we have beauty and beauty will be getting $10. So now beauty has 50, 60, 61, and 62. So the good thing about the season changing is that I really, you know, get a new hairstyle. That's kind of how I am. So once this hairstyle kind of gets old, the one I did on myself, my crochet braids, I want some, like a wig, probably like a headband wig or, you know, it's wig season for me when it gets a little cooler. So I'm most likely going to buy like a wig. So I won't have to save like too much for this. 
so that's good for that next we have rollover and like i said i did want to go ahead and put my rollover money in here because i've spent like about like almost 100 dollars in here which is not bad at all i don't want to like feel bad about it but like i said i am a spender so i think the reason why a lot of this money is gone is because as you all know it's my birthday so i had like my nails done my lashes done and then i bought the new cash envelopes so that's kind of what made this down a little bit and then i was eating out like a lot these past two weeks so we're gonna go ahead and put that rollover money in here to kind of get like a better little cushion and then i will save up for my savings challenge so let's go ahead and put these together and see how much i saved total Okay, so now in rollover, I have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, and 100. So now I have 100 in rollover, which I feel like better with that 100 in here. So that's good. So we have $100 in rollover. Next we have car maintenance and car maintenance will be getting $5. So now car maintenance has 50, 55, 56, and 57. So 57 is in car maintenance. Okay, and then we have this extra 10. So I think I must have messed up somewhere. I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I'm back. I figured out that extra 10 was actually supposed to be in my groceries and household envelope because I budget 120 and I only put in 110. All right guys, so thank you guys so much for watching. Also leave down in the comments, are you guys doing a no spend challenge? Because I've seen a lot of YouTubers like budgeters they're doing a lot of no spends. I'm not going to lie. I've been thinking about it. But the only reason I didn't do it this month is because it's my birthday month. It's like pointless doing no spend during September. But I was thinking God said the same. I could definitely start during October. Like no spend, low spend, however you want to call it. And just really cut down on my spending. Like I said, a lot has gone on with my budget. I want to do an updated video about like a sit down budget with me video. And y'all can see like how I'm managing my money. What's going where. What's going on. Especially with like student, student loans payments coming back. That's a whole nother story because you all know I am in grad school. So we're going to get into that. But yeah, guys, other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. This was a little chatty video. But yeah, I'm excited to be, you know, back and everything. And to be, you know, here just showing you guys my budget journey. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.